Hi, TNC. Hi, Martin. What's going on? I'm writing a ride hailing app that matches cars with riders in real time using PubSub. I noticed some glitches and I wondered if you could help me. A ride hailing app? That sounds super cool. PubSub has released several new features this year. I wonder if some of them could help. Could you tell me more about your use cases? Of course. When a rider requests a ride, the rider's mobile app sends an HTTP post to a Cloud Run service called Rider Handler. That service publishes a message to PubSub. The message is consumed by the Dispatcher service. The Dispatcher service calls the Fleet Manager service to find nearby drivers. It then sends a push notification to the nearest driver via Firebase Cloud Messaging. When a driver accepts or declines a ride, their mobile app calls a Cloud Run service called Driver Handler. That service publishes a message to PubSub, which is consumed by the Fleet Manager service. PubSub lets me decouple Rider Handler from Dispatcher and Driver Handler from Fleet Manager. It also lets me add more message subscribers in the future, for example, for reporting. Thank you for showing me how the app works. I see how PubSub fits in now. Let's see the issues you face. Yeah, the first issue I'm facing is caused by malformed GPS data from riders' phones. It's still a little bit of a mystery to me how this happens, but when a dispatcher receives PubSub messages with bad GPS data, it throws an exception and doesn't acknowledge the message. When there are many such bad messages, new ride requests don't make it to the dispatcher. Oh no, it sounds like you've built a growing backlog of undeliverable messages in your PubSub topic. Could you show me the graphs for unact message count and oldest unact message? Yeah, I went into the PubSub area of Cloud Console and I took these screenshots. Ah, this confirms my suspicion. Let me explain. A small backlog is harmless, but a huge backlog could cause all your messages to be stuck because PubSub always tries to deliver the oldest messages first. You never want a situation where the number of undelivered messages grows with the age of the oldest message. It looks like you have that kind of backup and it's causing new messages to be stuck behind the old messages. Oh, I see. Uh, what should I do? You should use a dead letter queue. You could tell PubSub to forward the undeliverable messages to a different topic, also known as a dead letter topic, after a certain number of failed delivery attempts. Oh, really? Uh, can I update an existing subscription to send bad messages to a dead letter queue? Absolutely. Let's go to Cloud Console to do that. Okay. Let's go to your subscription, Dispatcher Sub. All right. Edit it. Edit. Yep. You want to scroll down to debt lettering and enable debt lettering. Ah, uh, this checkbox here? That's right. Debt letter. You want topic. to create. You said yes, create. create a dead letter topic to forward the messages. All right. Uh, so I'll call that writer's dead letter topic. You also want to attach a default subscription to your dead letter topic. Okay. I'll call that uh, writer's dead letter subscription. Sounds great. How right. many times do you want PubSub to try before it forwards the bad messages? So this is how many times it will have to fail in Dispatcher before it comes into this subscription. Is that right? That's correct. OK, uh, maybe 10 times. If it doesn't work after 10, it will never work. Uh, 
and now you can click update. All right. Um, and you want to go to death lettering. Ah, yeah, there's an orange triangle there. Uh... This is to grant PubSub the publish and subscriber role so that it could forward messages on your behalf. Oh, I see. So I just granted these roles. Yes. You expect messages that exceed the maximum number of uh, delivery attempts to be forwarded to your dead letter topic. Excellent. I should ask for someone who knows more about GPS data uh, to write a service that subscribes to that dead letter subscription and do a full diagnosis. They will have all the bad data in one place. I think they will appreciate that. Uh, the second issue I have is mistakenly sending cars to pick up a rider who has cancelled. First, the rider sends a request ride message. Next, the rider sends a cancel ride message if they want to cancel the ride. And for some reason, the cancel ride message sometimes arrives first. When it does, the dispatcher doesn't know about this ride yet, so it can't cancel it. And then later, the request ride message comes in. And the dispatcher then creates the rides and finds a driver for this cancelled ride. This sounds like messages were definitely arriving out of order, but pops of message ordering could help. Oh, excellent. Uh, please tell me more. I imagine requests matter per rider. When these requests are published to PubSub, if you attach the rider's ID, as an ordering key, then these messages will be delivered in the same order they are received by PubSub. The request write message will arrive in a dispatcher service first, followed by the cancel write message. Oh, and this would make sure that the dispatcher is always using the latest correct information about each ride, right? Exactly. I want to give it a try. Uh, how do I set it up, TNC? Uh, to set it up, let's go to Cloud Console again. All right, I'm here. I go into subscriptions. Um, let's recreate a dispatcher sub so that it has ordering enabled. So I start by deleting it. Is that right? That's right. All right. Delete. And then I'll create a new a replacement for it. Mm -hmm. So I'll call it dispatcher sub ordered because it sounds be... great. Yeah. And it's the writer's topic. It's push because we're using cloud run on the other mm -hmm. side. And uh, uh, this is my cloud run endpoint. And uh, I'm just recreating what I'd done on the previous subscription. So I enable authentication for it. I've set up an account for that. And then there was something I should do differently. Ordering. Um, yes. That's it? Yes. You want to enable message ordering. Very good. And that's it? Uh, that's it. You can click create. All right. And in the meantime, I'm going to publish a request mes request write message from Bobcat, followed by a cancel write message from Bobcat. All right. I'm uh, selecting the log for the dispatcher service here. Mm -hmm. And there I see uh, a request ride from Bobcat. And let's see, what Yay. is this? Yeah. And a cancel ride from Bobcat. Our drivers will appreciate this. They came in in the right order. Uh, that's great to hear. Cool. So with dead letter queues and message ordering enabled, I'm eager to test out a new version of the algorithm in the dispatcher that matches riders and drivers. Definitely. It would be cool to compare the algorithms side by side. I'm thinking if you can replay the messages, you can compare the new algorithm with the old algorithm. Cool. That sounds fantastic. Uh, but you can, can you explain what replay means? To replay messages, you need to create a snapshot on a given subscription. Another way to think about a snapshot is to consider it a recording that you start. 
Okay, I have a subscription which hits the production dispatcher. We just saw it. If I want to replay messages to my test dispatcher and compare it with the one in production, can I do that? Absolutely. Um, let's head over to Cloud Console to do that. All right, let me just first grab my the address for the test dispatcher. All right, so I grabbed the URL for the test dispatcher and I'm going to uh, PubSub subscriptions now. Um, yes, let's go to dispatcher sub ordered. All right, dispatcher sub ordered. I'm going into that Let's one. go into the subscription and create a snapshot. Okay. Yep. Create snapshot. All right. Let's give it a name. All right. Maybe I'll call it begin test. All right. Uh, and now we want to go ahead and create a new subscription using this snapshot. So go to subscriptions. Okay. Create new subscription, you said? Yes. All right. Uh, I think I might call this a test dispatcher subscription. Mm -hmm. And this will be the same topic as the previous one. Still push because I'm pushing to a Cloud Run service. Here's the URL for my test dispatcher. I set up uh, a service account that can publish, is allowed to publish and allowed to call the Cloud Run service. And uh, sorry, what more should I do here? Uh, you want to retain acknowledged messages. Uh, oh, there it is. Retain acknowledged messages. Yep. Um, and go ahead and create this subscription. All right. Very quickly, Martin, could we go back to sub dispatcher sub ordered um, and also retain acknowledged messages in um, dispatcher sub ordered as well? Ooh, yes, of course. Good, good uh, thinking. Uh, sorry, was it retain acknowledged messages? That's right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and publish some messages. Um, in the meanwhile, um, you can go to your test subscription and seek to the snapshot that you just created. Oh, okay. Test dispatcher sub. And replay messages. And seek to a snapshot, and you said. Yes. Begin test. Okay, should I hit seek? Yes. Very good. Replaying messages. Uh -huh. And now we can look at your logs um, to see some messages that I just published. All right, um, in the logs, I'm going to filter so that I only see the test dispatcher. Only see the messages from the test dispatcher. Let's see here. So test dispatcher received a request ride from Starfish. And let's see if there were any more. I'll run this again. Uh, test dispatcher received a PubSub message request ride from Penguin. Uh, a request ride from Gopher. And finally, there was a request ride from Starfish. Cool. Uh, that's so, awesome. So at any point I can go back and, and replay these and send them over and over to the test dispatcher? 
the snapshot will be there for seven days, so you can go back and replay as many times as you want. Cool. Uh, so I see that I can seek to a snapshot, and the other uh, option I see here is to seek to a point in time. Uh, this is a really powerful feeling, uh, being able to jump around in time. Right, it's empowering, but we should probably also want to do with caution by reading the docs carefully. Yeah, I can't agree more. We time travelers know that we must always read the documentation carefully. I feel like I've learned a lot today, TNC. Dead lettering, ordering, snapshot, and seek. Uh, thank you for showing me these pop up features. My pleasure, Martin. Let me know how your ride-hailing app does. Thank you.